In inviting a troubled friend into her home, Kat Larston had also allowed a malevolent spirit to enter, and it was becoming increasingly violent. I was in the kitchen between dishes, and I smelled this smell of rot, of decay. And all of a sudden, I felt something against me. I couldn't move. My husband saw my hips the next day, and I had bruises, just black. And he said, oh my God, like, did you fall or what happened? And I said, no, I was, I, said, I was attacked. I just want to go have a bath. I just want to bathe. But for Kat, nowhere was safe. his hand it literally the fingers were on either side of my tops of my ears and it pushes me under the water <laughs> I, I have to get out of here to tell him i have to get out i have to get out <laughs> i'm gonna die i'm gonna die here The attack stopped as suddenly as it started. Having just survived one of the most terrifying experiences of her life, Kat tried to block it out of her mind and move on. Hey, Sarge, we got another one here. Another one what here? Several nights later, I had put my children to bed, and I'm trying to watch TV, but I'm thinking about what happened. Cat was confronted by an enormous shadow figure. It literally filled the entire door. Black. This thing was massive. And I'm thinking, oh my god. Oh my God, because I could smell the rot and it just charged at me. Once again, just as Kat thought she could take no more, the attack suddenly stopped. With her husband away, Kat was terrified of being in the house with just her young daughters. She asked her mother to come over. My mom was coming over. Hi! And so I had this um, big floral picture I had put up, and I'm standing there talking to my mom, and it just flies off of the wall and smashes. And all of a sudden, something's got me. <laughs> literally grabbed me and spun and then bang up on the wall and my feet come up off the floor and the nail where the picture is hung I'm slammed against the wall and it's pulling me down and the nail is gouging my back and my mom is screaming what's happening what's happening what's going on it's gonna kill me you have to go take the girls I said, just go, just go. It's, it doesn't want you. It wants me. <laughs> and I called my husband at work and I said, I am done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't stay here. I can't live here anymore. I can't do this. I packed up my kids as much as I could grab in a quick amount of time and myself and I left I went to my mom's I 
I did call Maria's dad and I said, I need to talk to her. There's more to this. I need to talk to her. And her dad goes, you know, this is it. I mean, after today, don't come back. If you come back, what's been happening to you will get worse. When that individual finds out the person that it came from, where the initial um, entry point came in their lives, when they confront that person, they're technically confronting the entity at the same time because that attachment is feeding off them. I don't even recognize the face on this girl, and she's wringing her hands. They said, I'll always love you, but I can't ever see you again. They said, please, before he kills one of my kids, please. This is your problem. I said, you know, you should have never brought this to my home, to me. It was over for Kat. After seeing Maria that final time, the attack stopped, and Kat's family went on to live a normal life. Invitations to entities from the dark side are not easily revoked. Once a door is opened, the spirit world has a habit of sticking around. Story 19, take one, marker. After struggling with some health issues, Dustin Terry had been looking for a new and cheaper apartment for him and his son Austin to move into. What attracted me to the building was the location. It was listed and it was fairly cheap in the paper, so I decided to call and check on it. The building looked like your older classic uh, brick building with the old iron gate that still had the old wood that used to be the outside of the um, siding. You know, it's kind of like stepping back in history almost. I did not take my son with me to see the place at all. He actually just kind of got a surprise one day. I was hoping in this new place for a fresh start, basically. downstairs doing a little bit of laundry the feeling i felt was just like you were being watched i just blew it off as no big thing <laughs> There's something there as to what I don't know. <laughs> 